my heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. I can't wait to take my clothes. Sad, then grey don't scoundrel, ever seeking Lady Vivian. Hmm. Strange. I was sure I'd find her here.
flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods. 
with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Alright, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree, wholeheartedly. I see why, I understand. Don't have to decide just yet, think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. change at will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps 
I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Doesn't matter what we agreed. It's Vivian's decision. She can either try it or not. Of course. But I could not live in the knowledge it was I who brought an ill fate down upon her. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Method using a pool of water is better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher. And I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest. But it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonful will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hallersman. Any questions? None. I doubt you'll do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a Witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight for tilt till one drops to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Let 
Let us begin! Count Rissaracus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in buckets! The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such birth, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tornis as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sails through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last, will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer Kritos harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Las Tony. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. They sink the grounds, the titans lock the stairs, the rushes and spry as wolves hunting hares. Mesdames et Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequaled and silent Grégoire de Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! 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 Now a few words from the sponsor. The people with it. For strong bones and deep drink to go. A wine for your titty, a wine for your soul. to behold he defeated Grégoire de Gorgon hail Geralt Herald as patron of this grand tourney I've the honor to decorate our grand champion 
His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor. And it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. But the folk will guard you. The least you should do is obey. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. I want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. He's not your foe. Got good intentions. You guessed right. He hired me. But only because he wanted to help you. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you, a curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfall, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shalmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet, with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Worth a try as I see it. The original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. Now we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go. you mentioned what became of her she passed on
so. This is my true form. It is not too late. You may still change your mind. It would bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. Oh, that's clearly rubbish. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Guillaume? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know, I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Now, open your eyes. Damn, I think it might have worked. Honestly, didn't think this would work. Doubted anything would happen. Read about this ritual in Grim Wars. Descriptions all seemed dramatic, embellished. All stipulated a condition that seemed improbable. What condition was this? A real bond between those involved. True love. How do you feel? In general, you feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram, but... Now I, I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. What now? Now? Now you get to live together, happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms, find me. Naturally. I thank you, Garrett. Oh, and your payment. <sighs> At last! I have so much to make up for. Balls to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird! Ha! Huh? I find you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. Don't mention it. You take care, both. <laughs>